brother in comparison with the tongue. Let me read that again. It says, the rudder, which is located under the boats, in water, again, why do you think God put your tongue in jail? Smile. Why do you think God put your tongue in jail? I can try and talk with my mouth closed, but the words won't come out clear. But if I open up my mouth and release that tongue, hey, shut up, baby. Watch out. You let the prisoner go free. Mm. And he causes all kinds of damage. Not by physical touch, but by words. Amen. You got it? Amen. So again, here's this vessel or this rudder. I'll read to you what it says again. It says, when this rudder is turned, it causes the vessel's head to turn in the same direction. So your tongue, like this rudder, controls the movement of your head. In other words, your thoughts being produced into reality is solely based on the reaction of the tongue. Amen. Therefore, whatever is residing in the mind or your thoughts can't move until the tongue gives it a direction. Amen. And just like the hand and the bit work together regarding the horse, the helm and the rudder in, are in sync. So is the mind and the tongue. Amen. So whatever the mind produces, it waits for direction from the tongue. Why? Because life and death is not manifested in your mind. It may have been produced there, but it only comes to fruition or manifested through words that are given life by the tongue. That's right. Whatever is there, is there. Amen. That's why it says your thoughts become Words. Amen. And your words become actions. Amen. Your thought can be a thought. It doesn't go any further unless you allow it to be released out of your mouth. Amen. The moment it is released out of your mouth, life has been spoken. Amen. And now here comes the action. Amen. <laughs> Are you understanding? Amen. The power of your tongue. Are you understanding the severity of this thing that God has put in jail, Amen. but you have a tendency to release it at the wrong time? Amen. <laughs> Amen. That's why he put it behind your teeth. Well. That's the prison. He gave you two ears and one mouth. Amen. The moment you open your mouth, there are times you open your mouth at the wrong time and the wrong thing is released. And if the wrong thing is released, it causes damage. I think you get it now. Amen. Here's the thing about a ship. Okay. A ship is a useful means of transporting cargo and people. But if the rudder is broken, it will become or be at the mercy of the wind and waves and could result in a shipwreck causing the loss of life and cargo. The work or to work properly and accomplish good things. Both the bit and the rudder must be under control of a strong hand that knows how to use them properly. Amen. Why do you think he says to control or tame the tongue? You must be able to use your tongue properly. Amen. You must be able to control what you say. I don't care if it's to your husband. I don't care if it's to your wife, your, 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 your co-worker, whoever it may be. He says control your tongue. Amen. Control what you say. Control what you say in secret. Amen. Why? Amen. Your words still have life. Just because you're not speaking directly to that person doesn't mean it doesn't affect that person. Amen. Amen. That's right. None of us were here on the face of the earth. Were we? God had a thought. The Bible says that the spirit hovered. The spirit didn't move until God said, let there be. Nothing took place until God gave me direction, light. Amen. Let there be light. Even the tongue of words then had such significance and power. Amen. And so God created us like the woman of God preached yesterday. And that was so deep. Mm. Yes. Amen. That was powerful. Mm -hmm. She said,
said, I like that thing. Tell me how to use it. She said, and we preached this, and I even spoke. I said, boy, that's good. She said that most people preach that God created man out of the dirt. She said, no, God created man out of the dust. And she gave the illustration. She said that she was somewhere, and she was, uh, and her cousins were driving down the dirt road, and she said, dust was all up in the air. And she looked at it. And she got a revelation that that's what God created man out of. I said, boy, that's good right there. Oh, man. He didn't get down in, in the dirt out of the dust. What that means is God probably blew in the dust. The dust flew up and God created man. That's right. Amen. Amen. But he created man with a tongue. Because man is made in his image. So everything God did, man has to do also. So if God spoke life into the heavens and the earth, then God had to give man power to speak life and death as well. Amen. But man must use it properly. Amen. Amen. Preach, Pastor. Amen. 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 